Our Árbol de la Vida is centered on oral history. I see this as an opportunity to tell very honest and true stories from the communities. Why was it important for you to share your story with the Árbol community? Rosa Maria Hinojosa de Bahí. She is one of my ancestors, and um, she was known as the first cattle queen of Texas. She was born in 1753. She had a million acres. They would spot her out on the trail because she wore these big hats with huge plumes, and they'd see the plumes blowing in the wind and say, Allá va la patrona, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, and so she was known as la patrona. My sculpture was of a hat. It was the one thing that, that stuck out for me in her history as to how she was recognized. I mean, she is going and riding along on the trail. You know, she wasn't just another ranch hand, she wasn't just the boss, but she was la patrona, you know, it was a woman doing this kind of thing. And so the hat became a symbol for me of what she stood for because that's what, rec that's what people recognized her was the hat. So I tried to bake this hat and we tried to make the feathers and, and then on the bottom of it we wrote La Patrona so that everybody could look up and see La Patrona. She played a, quite an important and decisive role in the history of Texas so it's very important that that story stays alive and I love telling the story because it, it keeps her memory.